Hey guys, here we're going to go over the vertex color editor for 3ds Max. Here we have six objects and each object is made up of an array of elements. So we'll go ahead and select them and right now we're in wireframe, wireframe display. So we'll go ahead and click RGB. Um, what that does is it toggles between the vertex color display for RGB and the wired color and same thing for alpha. So in this case we'll edit the RGB and We'll start at the element level and the way this works is you can apply the vertex colors per element, um, the same vertex color applied on the object level or the vertex. And I'll briefly show all of them. And to start we'll do it on a per object level. And then we want to enable the channels that we want to target to affect. We'll do the RGB. And then you can choose to do a solid color which would be this first swatch or a range which will go from black to blue, or lastly you can do random, which will randomly choose a color between uh, white and black. So we'll do solid, and then what we'll, or we'll do range. <clears throat> and we'll do, let's do orange to blue. And currently the order it's going to apply the vertex colors is based on a selection. So let's select these in the order we want that color to be applied, and hit apply. Now if you want the color to be reversed, you can always click the reverse button and hit that. Next we have random, which is randomly going to choose a color within this range and apply it per object. So what that means is the entire object is going to get the same vertex color that's randomly chosen for it. If you want to do a random vertex color per element per object, that's when you would change this to per element. You can go even smaller and go per vertex. Now let's go back up to the object level here and what we can do is change this to do it based on the Y position which will start at the front and it'll go back away from us and we'll get a really nice gradation. So we'll change this on a per object level you need to do it on a per element to really see the effect and now you can see each element or each object is having that gradation applied individually but if you want all the objects to be treated as one you can do grouped and what that does is it tricks the algorithm into thinking that even though you have multiple objects selected, it will apply the vertex color on a per element basis as if it was one object made of multiple elements. Now we'll go ahead and hit apply and what we can do now is do it on a per vertex and you'll see that there's not going to be a ton of change. But if you do grouped, you'll see it's a much softer transition versus doing a per element. And that's because on this one it's applying the same vertex color for the entire element versus an individual element and its vertices within it. So next we can go down to random and you'll see that's going to do the white and black random color. You can also do solid which uses the first color swatch to apply and that's useful if you want to target specific channels like the red channel. Let's just say you want to randomly adjust the red channel from uh, white to black which white has color in the red channel. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit apply and let's do random. And you can see the red channel is getting some color. And then what you can do is go to blue and do the same thing. And you can kind of choose how you want those to be affected. And next you have the alpha channel. Uh, all these same things apply. You can enable that and start editing the alpha channel after toggling the button so you can actually see what's happening. And we'll go back to a per element level and get some cool effects going. We'll go back to range to get a nice gradation and then turn on grouped to get them auto effect the same way. If you want to soften it again you'll change it to per vertex. And that's vertex color editor. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment. Thanks!